Hi everybody, my name is Russell Wilkes, R-U-S-S-E-L-L-W-I-L-K-S, -L -L and I run a service called The Thrifty Millionaire, The Thrifty Millionaire, and uh, to one of the sides of this video, you can there's a couple of sign up form, etc, etc, but let me tell you a bit about it first, and I'll tell you about the, the videos that I'm doing in a series that lead on from this. Firstly, The Thrifty Millionaire is a get richer quicker service for self-actualized people. And the basic sign up is free. There's one or two emails a, a week where I sort of go into quite some depth about uh, the four main areas that I feel a self-actualized person, that's a person who's living life on purpose, needs to take care of and be aware of on a daily basis. And uh, those four things in, in no particular order are money making financial, money making entrepreneurial, money saving thrift and remedy, protect yourself at all times. And I'll just briefly detail some of those now and then I'll also talk about the videos I've got coming up after this deal with a number of other key points and principles to do with basically getting richer quicker. Uh, the, some of the, the, the other videos coming up deal with things like uh, your escape plan figure, establishing your escape plan figure and how to get you to your escape plan figure quicker and things like the three bucket principle uh, that's essentially the things that you can do with money etc and then there's the fact that there's only really two different types of business and that there's only really three ways to make money but this video deals with those the four key areas if you like of, of being a thrifty millionaire as I said that's money making financial, money making entrepreneurial money saving thrift and remedy protect yourself at all times now i meet a lot of people on a, on a daily basis who have who are heavily indebted and have like think nothing of having forty thousand pounds of of debt etc and credit card debt and things like that and who don't like their job or you meet a lot of people who don't like their job in fact dislike it loathe it hate it etc and a lot of people think that they have to have a huge amount of money in order to basically stop doing the job that they dislike or hate. But that is not true. And in further videos, like when I talk about your escape plan figure, I'll show you how it's actually very, actually the amount of money you can, you can live on if you, do, if you use it in a certain way, uh, it's actually quite low. But for now, let's just briefly talk about those four main areas. So money making financial is all about getting financial intelligence. Uh, you can't. You have to think about your life as a, as a basis, as a, as a base, like a pyramid. And you establish a strong base. And then the strong base is your financial intelligence. You meet so many people who, who don't know how, how money works and have money working against them. When you're in debt, you have money working against you. And I'm not saying that all debt is bad, but whilst you're getting some financial intelligence, you've got to realize that consumer debt, that's called non-self-liquidating debt, is essentially slavery you're essentially enslaving yourself and the people who run this field of activity uh, the banks etc etc they want you to take on more and more credit and more and more debt because that's how they make money they make money from those streams of income but you as a self-actualized person don't actually want that you want to actually limit your purchases you want to keep your you know, use cash etc etc and have multiple streams of income so financial intelligence is all about things like not being in, uh, not taking on consumer debt and re understanding how money works and amplifying your passive streams of income did you know right now for example that you can easily make 20 25 30 35 up to 40 percent or more sometimes on your passive income per year after all deductions and a lot of people don't get this they don't understand this there's lots of these opportunities out there that the opportunities are ways to make consistent large amounts of money from your passive income right so that's financial intelligence that's money making financial establishing a base for our life uh, for your life and mine then you have money say uh, then you have money making entrepreneurial Entre that that basically is the fact that business is marketing and all about marketing and entrepreneurialism and business and how to create value and how to solve problems and how to start these little micro businesses and little streams of income etc that because you see active income is the way that you make real money you get a much higher return on investment from your active income than you do from passive income it's just the, the nature of the beast that's how it is you know we, and we're looking at how running micro businesses that uh, have a minimum of 100% return on investment in fact I'm, I'm an information products entrepreneur 
a multi-channel direct response marketer, a multi-channel direct response copywriter, but as an information products entrepreneur, I regularly make over a thousand percent on front end and back end product sequences. But more of that later, but money making entrepreneur money making entrepreneurial is is as I said, all about using your marketing, being a marketer, doing business, solving problems, creating value. And that's that aspect, and I'll go into that in much more detail in The Thrifty Millionaire, which I said you can sign up for, uh, for uh, on one of the links. And you have Money Saving Thrift. Now, Money Saving Thrift is, again, money making, and you're not living like a miser. You live well within your means, live well, comma, within your means. However, you expand your means through the, through the, the use of productive assets. But be, living, if you like, money saving thrift is really how to align your life so that essentially you are, uh, you're not expending so much time and effort servicing your work and your job and your businesses, etc. You know, for example, if you live like half a mile from where you work, then you don't have to pay for a commute. Then your daily commute is probably a 10 minute walk, if that, you know, things, things like this. And other, obviously, there are lots of ways to save a lot of money, and I go into big, you know, big time things about how to save a lot of money. And but the purpose of of saving is not necessarily just to. It's, you're not going to get rich from from just saving, and I go into that in later videos when we talk about the three bucket, uh, the three bucket principle, for example. But I'll, I'll go into that. As I said, so money saving thrift is the third element. The fourth element is remedy, protect yourself at all times. Basically protect yourself from scams, malintent. Sometimes you've got to protect yourself mentally, psychologically, psychically, physically, emotionally, things like this. Because you'll meet a lot of people who won't necessarily approve of what you're doing because it shows them, it shows them up, it shows them what they could be doing. Now some people will go, the vast majority of people will condemn you and will try to tell you that it won't work and will try to tell you not to do things because they fear failure and they fear rejection and they fear not being like other people. And I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody else or that you're better than anybody else. I'm just saying that you are endeavouring, if you follow the, the ethos, if you like, of the thrifty millionaire, then you're endeavouring to, you're endeavouring to live your life on your own terms and pull away from that the herd, if you like, I don't like the terms necessarily sheeple and herds and things like this, but that's what you're endeavouring to do. So the point is that that last one is that you're essentially protecting yourself at all times, remedy protect yourself at all times. Anyway, in these next videos, I go into establishing your escape plan figure, how to get your escape plan figure quicker. I talk about you know the two different types of debt, talk about the three three bucket principle, etc. Bye.